Welcome to BTI, that's Bible Training Institute. We open the scriptures every week, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Study with us and learn how to know God as a close, intimate, and personal friend, and learn what is soon to come upon this world. What will you give in order to be lost? Would you be lost for a job? No. Or for a car, or for a house, or for a car? Do you know that would be foolish to give our souls for something like a bowl of beans? Mm. Something so cheap, we're selling ourselves short. Mm. Nothing is more important than our relationship with Christ. Here's Jesus in this brightness, in a cloud, yeah. and two people with him. Who are the two people? Moses and Elijah. Now, these two represent yes. two classes of people. Uh -huh. yes. Elijah, tell me, about, tell me about Moses. He died, died and but has faith in Christ. Yes. yes. And he would be in the kingdom, am I right? Right. So he represented the dead that would be resurrected. Mm -hmm. Elijah, though, Elijah didn't what? He didn't die. He didn't die, he was what? Translated. translated. So Elijah represented the living that would be translated at the coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. You remember what the Bible says that when Jesus comes the second time? Mm -hmm. Then shall he come from heaven, he's going to descend. With the voice of an archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain. So the second coming of Christ is going to be Christ. With the dead and the living, so then a small picture of this was presented at the crown of transfiguration. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So notice that they didn't see the big picture, mm -hmm. but they were given a smaller picture, but everything was true to scale. True yes. to scale. You understand wow. what I'm telling you? Yes. If, a, if an architect writes something in his blueprint and says it's scaled down to an eighth of an inch, then the eighth of an inch mean a mile, it means it's the exact same, you would just add the extra inch. Are you following what I'm Right, right. So this is true to scale. Moses represented the dead. Mm -hmm. Elijah the living, Christ himself, and the coming of his cloud, and his kingdom, the second coming. But it happened after what? Six. six. After six days. So then the six is a scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. But when you let the interpretation of the scale come in, remember this scale of six and one. Mm -hmm. But a day is with the Lord as a what? A thousand years. And so the scale says those six days were really representative of 6,000 years before we would actually see the coming of the Lord. Where are we in 2024 in this 6,000 category? And question, what would be then, based on this concept, what would be the final generation? What would be the final generation based on this concept? Now, we want to speak more accurately right now. What would be the final generation based on this? And the last one, yes. Uh, how would I, how, how would I, how would I speak of the last generation based on this concept? So it is the last generation, but how would I speak of it based on this concept? Uh, six, okay, six, let, let me say it this way. Thousand. If I saw a generation that reached four thousand, would that be a, would that be the last generation? No, no, no. Because we would have plus or minus until what? Two thousand. Unless it was cut short, we would have that. Are you following? Right. But when I come to the six thousand. Mm -hmm. That is a limit. Mm -hmm. So now my brothers and sisters, the generation that comes to that number, there can be no one after that. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So that would be the limit generation or the boundary generation that the generation cannot pass the 6,000 year point. Yes. yes. Are you following? Yes. Remember, the generation that shall not pass mm -hmm. until all these things be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So my brothers and sisters, what that not pass is, we don't have to wonder now, that not pass is this 6,000 year period. Mm -hmm. That's what it says, this far and no more. further. So if I find a generation that would reach into 6,000, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the last generation. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. So then my brothers and sisters, it will be interesting to find out, does the baby boom generation reach that 6,000 year period? If you were blessed by this study and would like to be a part of the BTI, that's Bible Training Institute, simply have your Bible pen and paper handy and check out our weekly studies by logging on to molministry.com forward slash BTI. Also, tune in every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the latest Maranatha.